Hi class, a few of you have said that you're having some trouble um, unzipping the, the files for homework 5 and homework 6, particularly if you have a Mac computer. I'm going to give you a little workaround on how to do that. Um, I don't have a Mac with me, but it's going to be the same steps. Instead of downloading this zip file, what we're going to do is we're going to download um, the files individually. So for homework 5, we have a badger picture, we have a cat um, a cat video, a fire truck sound, and also the HTML file. I've got to download those. Now one thing I got to be careful about is make sure I have a folder to store all of those in. So I'm going to go over here and over to the, the finder over here. I'll go over to my desktop. Probably not the best place to put this, but I'll go over to my desktop and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make a new folder. And that's where I'm going to save my work. And I'll call this um, homework 5. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over to Blackboard and I'm going to save those files individually. So I'll right mouse click on the Badger picture and save link as. It might be save file as or something like that if you're on a different computer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go find that file I created, folder I created. It's over on the desktop. I'll open it up and make sure I save my Badger picture in there. I'm going to repeat that for the other files. Right mouse click, save link as for the cat mp4 and save it. Right mouse click and save the link for the fire truck sound. And finally, right mouse click and save my link for the HTML file. So now I have those four files downloaded. If I look back over at my folder, my homework 5 folder, which I put on the desktop, I'll see all those files there. So most important thing associated with that is that you make sure you save them all to one folder because we know in when we're working with HTML and we're doing something like linking to a sound or an image, we need to have that in the same folder. So hopefully that was helpful for you who are having some trouble unzipping. So you don't need to necessarily unzip that folder, I'm going to supply you with all of the files that are necessary. Thank you, and keep asking questions if you have them. Bye-bye.